In this video, I'm going to show you how to self-release your SI joints for instant pain relief. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over mobility exercises that may end in a satisfying pop, crack, or self-release into the sacroiliac or SI joints. As a note, these are not chiropractic adjustments. They do not replace chiropractic adjustments. Instead, they're just mobility exercises that are going to target tightness, stiffness, and hopefully just give you a lot of quick relief into those SI joints, maybe even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and self-release the SI joints right now. So this is one of my personal favorite SI joint exercises because it's going to put a lot of mobility into the sacroiliac joints, but also help strengthen them. We just need to lay flat on our stomach. You can do this one in bed or on the floor. I want to position my legs straight at the knee and about hip width apart. What I'm going to do from there is keep my pelvis and hips flat, but then lift my legs up towards the ceiling as far as I can, really challenge yourself. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot activate across the lower back into the pelvis, into those SI joints. Really focus on feeling it into those SI joints. Once we hit a very comfortable stretch, let's hold this one for five to 10 seconds. From there, you're going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this up to five times. Really challenge yourself with each repetition to take the legs up towards the ceiling even more. What we want to do to make this one harder is we can then space the legs out just a little bit more. And the more that you space the legs out, the more that you're going to feel it into those SI joints. So really challenge yourself, focus on feeling it into the sacroiliac joints. How we can take this one to even the next level is while we raise the legs up like this, let's take the toes inwards and then let's go outwards with it. You'll feel those SI joints and the muscles around there really start to activate. So go through all of these motions and take what you feel is most effective and you might just get that sudden self-release or pop that you're looking for. So here is a really easy and effective way to be able to self-release our SI joints using a tasty can of soup and a large bath towel. Let's take the can of soup, place it at the edge of a towel like this, and I'm just going to roll it up and at that point you will have a homemade foam roller. If you do have a foam roller at home, you can use that also. It will probably make this exercise a little bit easier to do. So let's start off next to a door or a wall. What I want to do, have my knees bent at 90 degrees, my heels are going to press into the door to create a stable anchor point. I find that wearing shoes during this exercise helps out a little bit more too because you'll have more grip. Then we just lay down like this. Let's take our homemade foam roller, our soup can, place it directly over the sacrum that is a little bit below the belt line, pretty much on the top of the butt cheeks. We just want to rest our body weight down at that point. And with this exercise, you can control the amount of pressure that you put over the soup can by either pressing down with your body weight or lifting up a little bit on your heels. So only go to your comfort level. What I want to do first is a simple pelvic tilt. Let's take our hands, place them on the hip like this, and do a nice rocking motion up and down. This will cause that soup can to glide and roll over the sacrum, over those SI joints, and you might find that you get a sudden pop or self-release if that SI joint is locked up. But I want to do nice, slow, controlled glides like this for about 10 to 15 repetitions. From there, let's say that I have a little bit more on my right side, that right SI joint. Let's move the soup can just slightly over to our right and then repeat this. You're going to be able to put a little bit more pressure over that SI joint, so again, you might get that self-release that you're looking for. But try to do this one for about 10 to 15 repetitions. And whatever you do on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So go on both sides, even if the other one does not hurt. What we can do to take this one to the next level, let's take our soup can, place it back over the original starting position in the center over the sacrum. From there, I'm going to take my arms, straighten them out like this, put them off to the side for a nice anchor point. Let's put our legs together, keep the knees bent at 90 degrees, and then slowly take our knees down, rotate our knees down towards one direction. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot activate across the pelvis, lower back, and the hips. Hold this position for about two or three seconds, come back up towards the center, and then just go towards the other direction. And you wanna do this nice and slow for about 10 to 12 repetitions on both sides. With each repetition, challenge yourself. Try to take those knees down towards the floor even more because it's only going to help put more mobility across the sacrum into those SI joints. And again, you might get that self-release pop that you're looking for. 
This exercise is known as a push-pull, and it's a great way to self-release your SI joints in bed or on the floor. Let's start off on our back. We're going to lift our legs up like this. My hips, my knees are going to be in a nice straight line. My knees bent at 90 degrees. Take one hand, place it on the outside of a knee. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Take the other hand and place it on the inside of the knee. Whatever side that we're cupping like this with the knee on the outside, we're going to pull forward with that knee, and then the one that's going to be on the inside, we're going to push back. But we're going to resist this motion, and we're going to try to hold this for about two to three seconds, and then just switch directions and then place the hands on the opposite side. When you do this, you're going to feel a lot of good motion across the pelvis into the SI joints. You wanna hold this for about two to three seconds, relax, and then just switch over to the other side. Try to do this for about 10 to 15 repetitions, just nice, slow, and controlled. And if that SI joint is locked up, you might feel a sudden pop or release. But with this one, it's just a nice, slow gliding motion that puts really good mobility into the sacroiliac joints, and I hope you do get that quick release that you're looking for. Here's a great way to be able to self-release our SI joints pretty much anywhere. You can do this one right at work. We just need a chair. Let's start off with very good posture. My knees are going to be roughly hip width apart. My feet are going to be flat during this exercise. Let's take our hands, place them on the outside of our knees. What I'm going to do from here is very easy. Take my knees, drive them outwards, but I'm going to resist against them with my hands to create a nice isometric exercise. Hold this position for about five seconds. Really challenge yourself too to drive those knees into the hands. From there, relax, take a breather, and then repeat this for five times. Here's the great part. Let's take our hands, put them together, place them on the inside of the knee. This time we're going to drive the knees into our hands. And I don't know if you just heard it on the microphone, but I got a very good pop into my SI joint. But just really try to focus on driving those knees into the hands, holding this for five seconds, relaxing, and then repeating this for five times. If you do find that this irritates your hands, you can use a rolled up towel instead to be able to do the same thing. So I find one of the easiest ways to self-release the SI joint is with a modified corkscrew stretch. You can do this one in bed or on the floor. We just lay flat on our back. Let's straighten one leg like this. The other leg is going to be bent at the knee. The bent side, I'm going to take that foot and place it underneath the straight leg and then I'm going to take the straight leg and press down into that foot to create a stable anchor point. Whatever side that we have the straight leg, what I want to do is then take that side's hand, place it on the outside of the bent knee. I'm then going to do a nice corkscrew stretch, that is taking this knee and rotating it downwards while I keep my upper body flat. Challenge yourself to take the knee down as far as you can. You're going to feel a great stretch into the lower back, across the pelvis, into the hips, into that SI joint. And if that SI joint is locked up, you might feel that immediate pop or crack right away. But either way, let's just go for a comfortable stretch and then hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. You can do this a couple times with each repetition. Just try to take this knee down further because it will help put more mobility into that SI joint and hopefully get it to self pop or self release. How we can take this one to the next level is let's go back into that stretch, but take the other hand and place it over the SI joint, kind of like cupping the butt cheek a little bit. What I'm going to do from there is press into it and then pull down on the knee at the same time to get a little bit more of a passive stretch. Again, only to your comfort level. Do not try to ram it or force it because you can cause irritation. Hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds, relax, and then repeat this up to five times. With each repetition, try to press into it a little bit more because again, it will put more mobility into that area, hopefully getting that pop or release that you're looking for. And then when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. This is one of my personal favorite exercises because it puts so much good mobility into the pelvic region across those sacroiliac joints. We can do this one at the edge of a bed. Let's lay flat like this. Whatever side that we're focusing on, take the other side and just drape it off the side of the bed. We're gonna take the leg that we are focusing on, or I should say the side that we're focusing on, bend the knee at 90 degrees, toes up towards the ceiling. The movement from here is very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to internally rotate my foot. That's taking my foot and then rotating it in like this at the ankle. I'm going to take the hand on the opposite side. So in this case, it's my left side. I'm going to take my right hand and then I'm going to place it on the inside of that left knee. 
what I'm trying to do is take this left knee 45 degrees towards my right shoulder. But what I'm going to do is resist this motion right here with my hand. So it's a nice isometric exercise. And you're really going to feel it into that SI joint. If it's locked up, you might feel that pop or release. But you want to just press in as much as you feel comfortable. Hold this for a very comfortable stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds. From there, relax, take a breather, and then do this up to five times. With each repetition, really challenge yourself to try to rotate that ankle in even more and then try to bring this knee towards that right shoulder even more. What you want to do from there is the opposite. So we're going to tack it at a different angle. I'm going to then take my ankle, rotate it outwards into external rotation, take the left hand this time, place it on the outside of my left knee. What I'm trying to do is rotate my knee like this towards the floor, but I'm going to resist against it again. You're going to feel the muscles around the pelvis get activated just a little bit differently. And again, if that SI joint is locked up and this helps put a lot of mobility in there, you might get that self-release that you're looking for. Again, up to five repetitions with this one. And each time with each repetition, challenge yourself to try to take the uh, ankle out even further and press into it even more. And when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.